I want to apologize to everyone because we recorded this last year and it's not coming out till now. It took us a year to get to it, but we're, like we, we always get to it, don't we? You missed the joke. No, I got it. It just wasn't funny, man. No, it was very You funny. filmed it. Welcome back to our stupid reactions. It's idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm laughing. And follows any Instagram, Instagram and Twitter. More juicy content. My dad loves that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, do you have anything to get rid of the earwax in my ear? Yeah. You ever done those candle things? No. They're weird. Shut up. And you know what I'm talking about? You stick them in the ear. It's a cone and the fire and the wax and it comes out. It's weird. We are doing a movie review. It's kind of time travel because you're seeing this from the future. That's true. Uh, but we watched a one of our first official romantic comedies? Mm. I mean, Brent Lee was a little bit, but it was a little more than that, right? Yeah, and I would consider English of English to fall into the rom-com. Rom-com category? Uh-huh. Okay. But yeah, I, I, on Twitter, I asked for, you know, give me a, uh, give me a, give me a rom-com because I was feeling a little light. Yeah, we've been watching uh, some heavy stuff. So, uh, wanted something a little light, and <laughs> I thought uh, Dilch at the High, but that was a little heavier than I even thought it, it was. was going to be. I thought that was going to be rom-com, and um, that turned out to be a little heavy. This was a rom-com, uh, yep. by, by every definition of the, of the word. <laughs> yep. Um, but we watched Jab We Met, starring uh, Shahid Kapoor. And Karina Kapoor. And Karina Kapoor. Which, not to be confused with the life of boxers, oh. because all boxers have jabs that they meet. <laughs> Yeah, we Shut met. up. And it's, it, was, yes. it was directed by, say his name for me. Uh, Mtiaz Ali. Directed Rockstar and, and, way. and wrote it, I believe. And yeah, he wrote it as right. well. Uh, but yes, it was a, it was actually really nice. This was the earliest thing we've seen Shahid Kapoor. Is this his, he looked young, so I would it's assume. 2007, I think yeah. the other, Kameni was the next earliest thing. Yeah, but this we, was the that, uh, that we had seen. What's the what's the terminology for him before he did Chocolate Boy? Chocolate Boy. This is yeah. This is what they described to me when they said this. Like this is how we met Shahid Kapoor. Got it. Was, it was well, he's he's had quite a transformation. Yeah, he has. I like it. Yeah, and it, it was. I mean, like <laughs> we were watching this, and I I, I really enjoyed it for for being a rom com. Honestly, uh, I don't know if you did or not, but yeah. it was, it was, it, I think it was really enjoyable. They obviously the, I wasn't watching it from a, from really a critical standpoint. I was really honestly, cause that's why I asked for a rom-com. I was like, I want something I can just sit down right. and enjoy a stupid love story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Look at Corbin saying he wanted to sit down I enjoy and enjoy rom -com. a stupid love story. I enjoy rom-coms. Yeah. Uh, but yes, Shahid Kapoor, I thought he was so interesting because one, he's, very realistic in this uh, for for being a rom com, don't you think? Yeah, it depends on the kind of rom com. Yeah, like there's my favorite rom coms to me. Like the quintessential rom coms are Sleepless in Seattle and While You Were Sleeping and uh, You've Got Mail and When Harry Met Sally. Mm -hmm. Those are to me the quintessential rom coms, and those are pretty as silly as they can be. They're pretty grounded. Mm -hmm. You know, well, like I think he was well for the first part of it until he became basically her mm -hmm. once she flipped. Yeah, um, he was the the grounded character in this, and I thought he did he did a really good job. And she, oftentimes, Karina Kapoor uh, reminded me of Basanti from uh, from Cholet. Good <laughs> comparison. Like I thought, this was almost like a modern Cholet love story between uh, 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 not well, especially what the especially at the outset because yeah. at the outset he's silent and she just will not stop. No, <laughs> she just keeps going and going. Oh and going yeah, and, and going. I'm a pretty patient guy and I'm a conversationalist, but I was like, girl, stop. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was it was. But weird. then when they started to talk, yeah, it wasn't it was, so much idle banter, chatter. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I thought that was that was that was really, it was a really enjoyable um, juxtaposition. Nice, look at you dropping the juxtaposition. I don't know why that's a thing. Apparently, they like that word. I used it a couple times, or maybe I use it more frequently than I know. And they're like loving the juxtaposition. Oh, loving the juxtaposition. 
So yeah, I for those of you, I think there were people who were saying when we first started getting introduced to Shahid, they were like, watch Jab We Met, and I know there's a lot of people, this was a big hit, who love the film. For me, I was kind of like, eh. Well, how were you watching it though? On a TV, you all right? No, my God. No, how were you watching it? Like, were you were you watching it like you're you're watching basically like a poo? Because that no. could, that could be that no, could no, be no, a no, big no. mistake. I knew, <laughs> I knew, and this is true. Like, you do have to accept the fact of where I am predispositionally when I'm going in. I will say this: some of what I've been watching, my most recent recent watching, not just with a poo and Gangs of Wasper, but the current awards films that we have to be watching and want to be watching, as well as some things I'm watching with Indrani that are just upper echelon fantastic artistry. Mm -hmm. I knew I had to ratchet it down. Mm -hmm. I knew not to prejudge that. Like my greatest prejudgment, as we know, is my Ranbeard prejudgment in Barfi. And I've probably done that with some films. But this one, I, I went into it expecting fluff, mm -hmm. expecting nothing, rom-com silly. I wasn't even expecting it to fall into the category of, of, of the one you just mentioned that we just saw. Uh, oh, Del Trata High. Del Trata High, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it just, for me, was... It, it, I, got, I got kind of bored. Of, now, I didn't get bored in the musical numbers. I thought my favorite part of the film were the musical numbers. They, I loved the musical numbers. And we've reacted to two of them, I think. One a long, time long, ago. long time ago. And one, one like last week. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I thought the musical numbers were just a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. But on a, on a whole, I just found myself a couple of spots just kind of like... Yeah. Well, okay. I think, and uh, I mean... I can so, understand. Yeah, I could take it or leave it. I can understand that, but it's, you know, this came out, uh, this is a lot of people's, like, guilty pleasure. Yeah. Of, like, they were like, I just want to sit down and, and I, I can... want to watch a stupid romantic comedy, which a lot of them are. Like, yeah, The Proposal, it's a stupid romantic comedy, yeah. but it's enjoyable. No, and this isn't, <laughs> this isn't one of those films, like, we watched it and I disliked it and was like, I don't understand why anyone would like this. I can understand where there's, there'd be an audience for this. I'm just not that audience. I, I, I did enjoy seeing, because obviously, like most people uh, in Bollywood or India cinema, we've reacted to them backwards. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And so it was so... Interesting, because like right when he popped on screen, I'm like, whoa, one young baby face, yeah, <laughs> ridiculously young. But then uh, seeing him and his his growth as an actor and being able to, I think honestly, he probably had the talent then to do header. Mm -hmm. It's just obviously he wasn't given the opportunity to yeah uh, to 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 do header. But True. it's like to. You, we've seen some uh, rom coms where people are over the top, and he was, I think, very, very grounded. And it's it's not easy to do films like this, uh, rom coms, where it's not because it's honestly sometimes I think it's easier to do more dramatic stuff. Sometimes it it is because like <laughs> like these are meant to be over the top sometimes, and but it, you have to believe your over the topness. Yeah, it's an old adage, and it it is very true. Comedy is a much harder thing to accomplish than drama. Yeah. Um, now there are some things dramatically that are really hard to accomplish. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. they're but both just, just they're both difficult. But as a whole, it it is comedies. Comedy and, is extraordinarily every, hard to do. Not every actor can do both. No, I don't, I don't know if Daniel Day Lewis can do comedy. That is the one thing I've always looked at. Mm -hmm. we, we he has he has two places that make him. He's still the best technician I've ever seen ever. But as far as Meryl Streep's a much more well-rounded actor. Mm -hmm. Meryl Streep does everything. Yeah. Musicals, comedy, everything. Daniel Day Lewis does not do musicals well. <laughs> and we've never seen him, to my knowledge, try a comedy. I wish he had. Because I remember when I watched Robert De Niro, his first known comedy that made everybody go, What's De Niro doing was a movie called Midnight Run. Did you ever see that? No, I haven't. I it's, know about it's it. It's very good. Mm -hmm. And he's still his quintessential kind of Italian mafiosa guy, mm -hmm. but it's a comedy. Yeah. And he did great. And everybody's like, wow, look at De Niro. Now, everybody knows he can now because of Meet the Parents and Meet the Fockers and everything. Yeah. But at the time, you don't typically see people who can do drama really well, which Shahid clearly can do, doing comedy well. And I agree. For a movie where... He was playing opposite someone who I'm, I'm sure that it was written this way and was directed for Karina to make her uh, much bigger and cartoony. 
Uh, and he tried, it seemed, to maintain the groundedness. Yeah. Don't know if that's a writing and director choice or if it's a Shahid choice. Yeah, I think I think it was. And I, I but he was he was he was fairly grounded for a yeah. rom, rom com of this this uh, milk toasty light yeah. fluff. Yeah, and and I enjoyed it because it, it kind of fulfilled what I was looking for. And just like uh, I didn't have to think during this. Correct. I didn't have to uh, critique anything. I, and there, no, there wasn't really anything. And there's a few actors we could talk about that I. I, I ridiculously enjoy but we can talk about Karina because mm -hmm. we've seen her in a few things correct our, our first introduction to Karina was Three Idiots and then we saw her in we've seen her in quite a few things actually recently we saw her in the the uh, say it uh, Bajrangi Bajan oh did we see her in Uda Punjab was she? we did what was she in Uda Punjab she was the main was she the main one the the one investigating who sorry if you haven't seen Uda Punjab close your ears who dies Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we've seen her in quite a few uh, things. Yeah. So the I thought this was actually a very different performance for her, and I, like you were saying, I think it was written that way. And Clearly, right when she came on screen, I was like, that reminds me of Basanti from. It's funny, I didn't uh, put that together, but you're absolutely show like, The minute you mentioned it, it clearly is. That's exactly what came into my mind. I'm like, this is how I felt when I was watching Chole, <laughs> and she wouldn't stop that talking. Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> I would not be as nice as she had. Yeah, no. <laughs> You would not. I probably would have been, but it would have reached. If I was in the place that Shahid was in, I would have reached that just like he did. But I think she did a really good job because that's not easy to do. One, to be, one, that annoying. Uh, True. But believable that annoying. <laughs> right. Like, for, there's really, there's nothing glaringly bad about this in any way. Mm. Whereas, for example, I... Um, this isn't a rom-com, but this is the first thing that came to mind when we watched when we watched Rockstar. Mm. I appreciated what Ram Beer did, but his co-star, I was you and I were both like, mm. Mm. Yeah. Uh, this. There wasn't anybody in this that there was nothing about this that was glaringly bad at all. It just for for my cup of tea and my kind of rom-com I like. Mm. This for me was just kind of saccharine, milk toast, junior high kind of level, silly fun. And there's an audience for that. I have no problem with it, but just for me, it's not it's not a movie I would. Yeah. We visit again. Yep. Um, but yeah, I thought I thought she did uh, a, a really good job. She did do a good uh, job. I would like to see her, and you can let us know. I will. I, did we see her? I didn't like. I apparently forgot she was in Uda Punjab. Um, where does she flex her big acting muscles? Because like, she's a massive star. Massive star has done a lot of work and continues to. You know, her and Shahid were dating during this film. No. I think they broke up during this film, actually. Huh. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Interesting. They were, they were dating during this film. But the, uh, I think she's in Omkara. Oh, but there were, by the way, there were, as far as blaring things, there were just a couple of things that, this won't surprise any of you who've been around a while, that my, that, that insulted my sensitivities toward worldviews and absolutes and stuff. Uh-huh. The, the whole concept she had when he explained to her how angry he was with his mom for having left... Yeah. His dad for another man. Yeah. And the whole the whole premise of there's no right or wrong in love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that doesn't fly with me. I'm not gonna get into the bait with you again. It's all right. <laughs> that just I, Is she that a, for me was like, yeah, no, thanks, sorry, that's wrong. Yeah, I don't yeah. agree with it either. Yeah. But no, it doesn't bother me. People having different worldviews in film. Well, that uh, it but, doesn't bother me that people have different worldviews. Lies. I just don't uh, like yeah, when yeah, their worldviews are raw. Is she, she is in Omkara, so obviously we need. She's to, in Omkara. She is. <gasps> Apparent. Obviously, we're going to watch Omkara very, uh, very soon because uh, we we're, we're obviously, we know obviously. we know guys. If you're typing in here, you need to see Saif Ali Khan. We know we are going to watch it. Obviously, we are very we're excited. excited to first, watch we are it. very excited to. <laughs> We are just, I don't want to get, I don't want to just do Vishal Bardwash, Vishal Bardwash, Vishal Bardwash. I, I want, I like to space stuff out so people don't, if they don't like it, I don't want to. Yeah, and all the people from the other non-Hindi speaking film languages are like, oh yeah, you want to spread it out when you haven't reacted to, fill in the blank, we know, yeah. we're going to get to it, thank you for your patience, we love you, we really do. Uh, but yeah, what is her big thing that flexed her, like, what is she, I know she's known for a lot. Obviously. I wouldn't know the, like, like, the, like, the, like, like for a dramatic turn. Yeah, don't know. What is her like? I would imagine performance. I would imagine it's Omkara. The okay. subject matter and everything in that. I can't imagine she's not going to be strong in that. Mm. Uh, especially with all the recommendations we've had for it. But I know, but, I know she's in it, and I would like to get to know her more because I just know her as 
three idiots. Correct. And jab. This is how I think of her. I think of but, her in the same way people used to think about Meg Ryan. Yeah. Does rom coms, does lighthearted fair, occasionally does a film that's on the more serious side, but she wouldn't be part of the awards conversation or considered like, considered a, a, a thespian. But right? yeah, I I mean I thought she did really well in the Salman Khan one that we saw. The Baji show. Yeah, she's always done. She's always done, show, she's show, always show, done show. well, but she's never been as far as this past almost year now. When we put the actresses that we elevate to the level of could win like Oscars and things. That's why I want to know because people do. Right. Like I, I think almost everybody that was watching would put her in their top five. They would put her in the Alia category yeah. and the Depika. And so I want to see. I want to see why the Priyankas. I do too. I want to see why they're they're saying that because I I enjoy her, but I still I would put like Depika, Priyanka, uh, all those people over her because I've seen them do that work. Obviously, we she has a thousand films that she's done, and so we haven't seen barely anything of her. She does, and uh, though she hasn't been in things that have the weightiness of some of the heavy dramatic things, I do. I recognized in this. I recognized it in Three Idiots. I recognized it, recognized it in the Punjab, which would be the most serious thing mm -hmm. we saw her in. Yeah, is she has um, the first person that came to mind that it would remind me of. They're very different, but she has an emotional availability that I love about SRK, where also I I. Our introduction to him was, I think there's more to this guy than just being a big movie star. I think this guy's like a legit thespian. Mm. And we've started to tap into that. I, mm -hmm. I have a feeling that's what we'll find out from her. Yeah, so let us know because I know you know. And she has a huge fan base and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. I would, so like, help to, us I would like to watch stuff of her that like, she, she flexes those muscles. Yep. I do want to talk about our, our Sar Sartash friend. I know. He did so well in this again. He did. Like... It, it, very different, obviously. That the the adult bog muka bog was obviously much more dramatic. Yeah, this was almost his silly side. But then at that one scene, he when he was yelling at his mad at, 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 at um, uh, Shahid, I, I think I turned to my wife. And said, I really enjoyed this guy. I He's really like him. So good. Mm -hmm. uh, so let us know what like his. Because I don't know if he's ever been like the lead in a film, or right. he's always been more the supporting right. sides. But he's really good. Yep. I like him a lot. He, he reminds me, we've used this comparison with some actors before, but in American theater uh, and film, there are these, these um, they're really A-list actors because all actors know who they are. And whenever somebody saw them, you'd be like, I know that guy. But so many people wouldn't be able to put his name. Mm -hmm. uh, John C. Riley. Yeah. Yeah. Who has starred in things, but yeah. they were never big successes. Yeah. Has been in a gazillion big things where he was supporting. Mm -hmm. But he's the guy that when he shows up is like, hey, isn't that, wasn't he in, I feel like maybe this actor is that yeah, maybe. in Indian cinema? Could maybe. be totally wrong. Uh, but I, I do want to know more about uh, it. I do, I do too. Let me, what was his name? It, it is, is this him? No. No? Oh, uh, wait, no, because he looks so different. That might have been him. Just look and see if the credits show him in um, Bhag Milka, Milka Bhag. Bhag. Yeah. yeah, that's him. Pavan Mahotra. He looks different in his... Uh, yeah, he does. Without the beard? Yeah. Yeah, he's been in a lot. So let us know. I do have just a random question. Uh, just related to culture. Um, what is the difference and when do they... Uh, see? Six? Six. They were the, the I, forgive me, I don't know the technical name for them. I, the one with the, the bun at the top, right here? What, that they wear under their turbans? Does all of them wear it under the turbans? I believe some so. Some of them were wearing the turbans and some of them were, are just yeah. wearing that. Is it, I a, believe is it a young thing that they wear that? And I apologize for question. asking that thing. I don't know what it's called. We don't know what it's called. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, and, Bob, and he was wearing it in Bob Milka Bob. Yeah, he was running. I, I think, I'm just curious as to what the difference is. I think it's the piece that actually holds the hair in place mm -hmm. under the turban. Okay. Uh, and you can wear that just out? You that's a good the, question. You don't have to wear the turban? That's a good question because I thought that a Sikh needed to wear the turban. Mm. Yeah, so please know. help us. I'd love to know what that is. Yeah, we watched a few with, with Six and, and I just I don't know the... I would like to know. Yeah, and a lot of the young men, it's usually the young are people. wearing it but not wearing a turban. Yeah. Help us yeah. know more. So that was just a little... Let us know. Uh, yeah, so like I said, I, I, I thoroughly enjoy, I, I agree with you. Uh, in, it, it's not my favorite romantic comedy, obviously. Uh, but I, I enjoyed watching a film that was just kind of lighthearted and I could just... Yeah, I think, I think you liked it a little more. For me, yeah. for, for me, I was just like, yeah, and that's okay. I can, I could watch it do anything. Honestly. Yeah, I, there's a little bias there. Yeah, no. Uh, and that's understandable. It's okay. 
he's 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 really good. Uh, like him a lot. But yeah, let us know what other uh, rom coms are out there, please. Uh, but this is this one. I know SRK has a ton. <laughs> Dill C. Uh, yeah, I know. I know you guys have recommended tons as well. Yeah, so. there are a ton uh, that I know. Um, Renvier has a few as well. Hey, I gotta say, we did pretty good, though, what? in 2019. Yeah. We watched 60 freaking movies, in addition to everything else that we watched. Well, some people will tell you we didn't watch shit. <laughs>